Namaskaram. Today we are going to discuss about Euler Cauchy differential equations. It's a special kind of uh, differential, ordinary differential equation. These are the solutions of previous homework. Yeah, this is the general form of Euler Cauchy differential equation x square y double dash plus ax y dash plus by equal to 0 where this a and b are numbers uh, where re they are real numbers okay to solve this type of order differential equations we use a substitution this is, substitu this is a substitution z is equal to log x using this transformation we can convert this differential equation as a our normal homogeneous linear ordinary differential equation okay we know how to solve such uh, homogeneous linear ordinary differential equation with the constant coefficient okay that's the idea so i will show you how to convert this one using the substitution okay here one more thing here this y double dash okay here this we know that this y is a function of x okay y is a function of x and what about this y dash here this y dash stands for nothing it is dy by dx okay and similarly y double dash means it is a derivative second derivative of y with respect to x that is d, d square y by dx square next we are going to convert this differential equation in terms of a new independent variable that is z using this transformation okay so we are trying to find a differential equation in that differential equation the independent variable is z that's the idea okay then how to convert so we have to find what is dy by dx and d square y by dx square in terms of z okay that is our first procedure so what is dy by dx so we know what is chain rule so using chain rule we can easily find the uh, uh, dy by dx in terms of uh, z okay here it is clear that our dependent variable is y y depends x now x depends z so what about a chain rule so you can write okay and uh, this is equivalent to x is equal to e raised to z isn't it so after substituting every x uh, after converting this differential equation in terms of z now what happened now y is in terms of z we can treat y as a function of z okay and we know that z again depends x clear so after converting this differential equation in terms of z y is also y is in terms of z so what happened y depends z and z depends x so using chain rule how to differentiate y with respect to x so using chain rule this become dy by dz into dz by dx okay this is the rule of differentiation using chain rule okay now we treat y as a function of z that's all then then how to then what about dz by dx yeah uh, z is log x so what is dz by dx that is equal to 1 by x the derivative of log x is 1 by x okay so our dy by dx become dy by dx is equal to dy by dz into 1 by x so cross multiplying this x so what happened so x into dy by dx is equal to dy by dz now it is interesting you can replace this x into y dash what is x into y dash x into y dash means x into dy by dx you can replace this x into y dash by dy by dz okay next we have to find this uh, x square into y double dash by considering uh, d square y by dx square okay okay so we consider d square by d, dx square so we can write this as d by dx of dy by dx then then we know what is dy by dx dy by dx is from this formula that is dy by dz into 1 by x so we just replacing this dy by dx using this formula so that's why this one then now we have two functions okay so we can use our product rule to differentiate this one because ultimately y is fu function of x okay so this is also a function of x so we can use the product rule 
So derivative of first function that is d by d by dx of d y by d z into second function that is one by x plus first function that is d y by d z into derivative of one by x that is minus one by x square. This is only a product rule. Okay. Then again, here uh, we use the chain rule. Here here we use chain rule. In this portion we use the chain rule. That's why this becomes d by d by d z of d y by d z into d z by d x. Okay. So this is nothing. This is chain rule applied on this term. Okay. Into one by x is there, and uh, this is minus one by x square into d y by d x d y by d z. There is no change. Again, uh, here, what about this term? This is nothing. This is d square y by d z square. That is this term. And what about d z by d x? Yes, d z by d x is one by x. To differentiate this z with respect to x, this term become one by x. So one by x into one by x become one by x square. That's why this is one by x square. Okay. So now one by x square is common. You can take outside. So one by x square is take outside. So like this. Then you cross multiply this x square. What happens? So x square into d square y by d x square. Yes, this term x square into y double dash. X square into d square y by d x square is equal to d square y by d z square minus d y by d z. Okay. So now we have two uh, equivalent formulas. One is x into d y by d x and x square into d y by d x square. Substituting these two values in this equation, we get a, a new differential equation in terms of z, which is of the form homogeneous linear differential equation with the constant coefficients. We know how to solve it. Okay, let's see. Okay, by substituting these two uh, equations in this equation, uh, this become like this. Uh, this term is corresponding to x square y double dash because x square uh, y double dash is d square y by d z square minus d y by d z plus a into instead of x dy by dx we use this expression here uh, replacing x into dy by dx by dy by dz plus by okay now this is an ordinary differential equation like homogeneous linear differential equation with the constant coefficients okay the coefficient of d square by dx dz square is 1 and what about the coefficient of dy by dz yeah, it is nothing it is a minus 1 a minus 1 is the coefficient of this term and coefficient of y is b okay anyway the coefficients are constant we know how to solve such uh, differential equation first we have to write the auxiliary equation lambda square lambda square corresponding to first term d square over d z square minus lambda plus a lambda plus b equal to 0 and uh, here one lambda is common you can take outside so this becomes lambda into lambda minus 1 plus a lambda plus b equal to 0. By expanding this bracket and combi combining the terms containing this lambda you can rewrite this equation as like this. Anyway this is the auxiliary equation corresponding to this differential equation. The interesting thing is or the important thing is now our dependent variable y in terms of z. Okay we, we know how to solve this differential equation. First of all we have to solve this auxiliary equation then we have uh, roots depending on the nature of root we can directly write the solution but the thing is the solution in terms of z y in terms of z we have to find the solution y in terms of x so to convert uh, solution in terms of x we have to substitute z in is equal to log x okay ultimately we have to find the solution in terms of x we will see how to uh, write the solution corresponding to roots of this equation okay these are the different cases these are differential equation these are substitution then we get a new differential equation and this is the uh, uh, auxiliary equation corresponding to new differential equation. Suppose we have uh, first case, suppose roots are real and distinct, then general solution is c1 e raised to lambda 1 z plus c2 e raised to lambda 2 z, not x. Because now this auxiliary equation is the auxiliary equation corresponding to the new differential equation. Okay, in that new differential equation, independent variable is z. Okay. But we have to find the final solution. How to find the final solution? We simply replacing z by uh, log x. So what happened? In the case of first solution, this is c1 e raised to lambda 1 log x plus c2 e raised to lambda 2 log x. And we know that this is c1 e raised to log x raised to lambda 1 plus c2 e raised to log 
x raised to lambda 2. We know that e raised to e and log are opposite functions. So e raised to log is 1. Okay. So this becomes c1 times x raised to lambda 1 plus c2 times uh, x raised to lambda 2. That's why general solution is like this. c2 x raised to lambda 1 plus c, c, uh, c1 x raised to lambda 1 plus c2 x raised to lambda 2. Similarly, we can convert everything. The second case is la, roots are same and repeat. Uh, roots are same and real. Then the general solution is c1 plus c2 z into e raised to lambda 1 z. Then you simply replacing all the z using this relation log x. Then this is the final general solution c1 plus c2 log x into x raised to lambda 1. Okay. Then we have one more case. Uh, if the roots are complex, then this is the general solution in terms of z e raised to alpha z into c1 cos beta z plus c2 sin beta z. You substitute, if you replace this z by log x, then what happened? This is this time become x raised to alpha and this is c1 cos beta times uh, log x. The argument is beta log x plus c2 sin beta log x. Okay, so these are the different cases. This is the idea of solving uh, Euler Cauchy differential equation. Okay. Okay, solve x square y double dash minus 5xy dash plus 9y equal to 0. We know that the substitution is z is equal to log x. After the substitution, our differential equation is in terms of z. Then the corresponding auxiliary equation is m in oh sorry, not, lambda into lambda minus 1 uh, minus 5 lambda plus 9 equal to 0. If expand this bracket, this become lambda square minus 6 lambda plus 9 equal to 0. And this is again lambda minus 3 all square equal to 0. This implies lambda equal to 3 and 3. Roots are same and real. Okay, so what is the solution? Then we know how to write the solution. Uh, the, remember one thing, now our differential equation is in terms of z. That's why our auxiliary equation is like that. Okay, so its solution corresponding to this uh, repeated roots equal to c1 plus c2 z now the variable is z into e raised to lambda x that is 3 z sorry 3 z okay we have to find the solution in terms of x how just replacing z by log x so what happened this is c1 plus c2 log x into e raised to 3 times log x and what about e raised to 3 times log x this is e raised to log x raised to 3 that is x raised to 3 so the solution y is equal to c1 plus c2 log x into x raised to 3. This is the final solution. Okay. Next problem. Solve x square y double dash plus x y dash plus y equal to 0 and y of 1 equal to 1 and y dash of 1 equal to 1. It's an initial value problem. So first we have to solve this differential equation. Why the Cauchy differential equation? Okay, we know that the substitution is z equal to log x. After the substitution, uh, we have uh, this equation is in terms of z. And what is the auxiliary equation corresponding to new differential equation? The auxiliary equation corresponding to the new differential equation is lambda into lambda minus 1 plus lambda plus 1 equal to 0. This is lambda square minus lambda. So you can cancel these two lambda. So this becomes lambda square plus 1 equal to 0. So this implies lambda square equal to minus 1 and lambda equal to plus or minus i. Now this is alpha plus or minus i beta 4. Okay, here alpha equal to 0 and beta equal to 1. We know how to write the solution. So solution y is equal to the only thing is a solution in terms of z because this auxiliary equation is the auxiliary equation, this auxiliary equation corresponding to differential equation uh, with the independent variable z. Okay, so y is equal to here alpha is 0. So you raise to 0 z into c1 cos uh, beta z so beta is 1 so cos z plus c2 sine uh, z okay so so finally the solution in terms of x is this is 1 c1 cos log x plus c2 sine log x okay next we have to find c1 and c2 using these two conditions okay first we apply this condition y of 1 equal to 1 substitute 1 so y of 1 is equal to what happened uh, log 1 log 1 is 0 okay so cos 0 cos 0 is 1 so c1 and log 1 is 0 so sin 0 is 0 
so this time is zero so c1 equal to y of 1 and what is y of 1 y of 1 is given that is 1 so 1 equal to c1 so we have c1 c1 is 1 to find the c2 to find c2 we have one more condition that is y dash of 1 to apply this condition first of all we have to find y dash of x so what is y dash of x the derivative cos is minus sign so c1 minus sign log x into 1 by x derivative of log x plus c2 derivative of sine is cos cos log x into derivative of log x is 1 by x okay next we have to apply this condition you simply substitute x equal to 1 on this equation so let us become y dash of 1 rhs become this is log 1 is again 0 uh, log 1 is 0 so sine 0 is 0 so this term becomes 0 and here uh, log 1 is 0 so cos 0 is 1 and 1 by 1 is again 1 so 1 into 1 is 1 so c2 so this becomes c2 okay so what is y dash of 1 that is 1 so 1 is equal to c2 so we have now we have c1 and c2 just substitute these values in this solution we get the final solution so the final solution y is equal to uh, cos log x plus sine log x because c1 and c2 both are 1 okay Yes, the final solution y is equal to cos log x plus sin log. Yes, these are the okay, this is your homework. Thank you.